Recently, I bought an electric scooter. I'm so happy about it. It takes around 35-40 minutes door to door to get to work from where I live by public transport, and even less by bike or electric scooter, around 25-30 minutes. Once I noticed that I come to work too tired from crowds of people on the metro, so I decided to give it a try to electric bikes and scooters rental in Paris. I preferred the scooter because you don't have to care about parking it, you can bring it to the office and it doesn't take much place at home. So I bought one. And look at all of this beauty on my way to the office. I really love our office. We rent several floors and so we have all advantages, including delicious coffee and amazing view on the top terrace. Even though I don't have to be in the office every day, by the way, I talked about it in my other day in the life video. I'll put the link in the description. I just love being in the office. It's an amazing way of exchanging knowledge sharing with colleagues. <laughs> Today I had no time for breakfast, so I took some coffee and snacks. This morning I had to resolve some comments my colleagues put in my PR pull request. Basically I finished quite a big task and forgot to uncomment some things and delete unnecessary files, which I did on experimental purpose. Well, these are the drawbacks of submitting work in the evening, it's easy to forget some stupid stuff. On Mondays my day usually starts with a weekly meeting. It's a meeting with all developers from my team and managers. We comment on statuses of our roadmap and discuss some issues or suggestions if we have any. It gives more visibility on which direction we are right now. This day was kind of unusual. We had a visitor, a teenager, who did his internship week at We presented our team, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, showed our code base and even gave him a small task on writing a missing piece of code. In France, at the end of the middle school, the student has to complete a career guidance in the form of spending one week in a company. I think it's a very good initiative in the French school system. And what do you think? Lunch break is sacred for French people. It's one hour minimum and sometimes with a coffee time following the lunch, we can spend two hours eating, chatting and drinking coffee. Sometimes we talk on tech topics, sometimes something related to work, and sometimes just something on everyday life, news, politics, life experiences, etc. To my mind, having such a long break gives you a lot of energy to the rest of the day. I found a lot of articles and research explaining that spending more time resting boosts creativity and the ability to problem solve. I don't know if you have any uh, uh, precise questions I am ready to answer. Uh, generally on Mondays, uh, one time per fortnight or one time in a month, I have a meeting with my one-to-one -one meeting with my manager where we discuss um, challenges, problems if I have any, um, suggestions to improvements, and it's, it's actually a chance to talk to your manager 
privately, let's say. And at the beginning of the quarter, we set up goals to the, to the next quarter. At the end of the quarter, we discuss the results, the objectives with the set, it did uh, meet the expectations. And um, was I performant enough? And if not, what were the obstacles? And uh, the manager also evaluates your your performance, uh, did you do well, and your salary bonus depends on that. And so far I had 100% <laughs> relations and I hope that it's going to be that way until the end. Um, yeah. Otherwise, um, I just code uh, during the day. Um, and speaking of code, particularly like today's PR that I was that I was modifying a little bit at the beginning. Normally it was a task that consisted of uh, the theoretical part and the result of the task was the proof of concept. Actually, I was searching for the ways how to uh, decrease, how to reduce the our script size and uh, I kind of you know, defended <laughs> the, the concept, the way how to do that, uh, which I was implementing, and the result was the pull request that I meant to the repository. I also left a small documentation because I did a lot of changes so that my colleagues, it will be easy to follow for my colleagues to read the code and to understand it. And I also met some, you know, risks that we will have and probably we will decide not to uh, put it in production. Yeah, that's uh, that was it. I can't talk too much because of the NDA and because of the lack of the context to you. So that's why it's it's very hard. But I hope that uh, you got the the idea of what uh, do software engineers do you on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, how the day goes and what are the challenges, the tasks that we do. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment. And hope to see you in my next videos. Bye-bye. Peace.